Shabbat shalom, everybody. I wanted to focus today, instead of on a global idea, on one verse, because I think it's amazing how much one particular verse can enlighten and whole experience for us. This verse that I want to look in today's Torah portion is from Numbers 14, 18, where it says, Adonai erech hapayim v'rav chesed nosa avon v'fesha v'nake lo ninake O God, slow to anger and abounding in kindness, forgiving iniquity and transgression, yet not remitting all punishment, but revisiting the iniquity of fathers, parents, on their children upon the third and fourth generation. Now, this verse might sound very familiar to you. In fact, you already heard it this year back in Exodus verses six through seven, it was slightly different. We'll come back to the differences, but this is what it's two verses, not one. Let me share those two verses with you in Exodus 34, six through seven. And God passed before him and proclaimed, God, God, a God, compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in kindness and faithfulness, extending kindness to the thousand generation, forgiving iniquity, transgression, and sin. Yet God does not remit all punishment, but visits the iniquity of parents upon children and children's children upon the third and fourth generation. But again, this might sound familiar to you, not from these two biblical verses at all, but maybe from our prayer book, the Sidur, for they are found on page 391 in our prayer book, and they are recited during a Chag, either Shukot, Pesach, or Shavuot, as well as during high holidays, and are called the 13 attributes of God. Now, I made this chart, which Vilani will now share with you, that compares the verses, because although they might sound familiar, they're not exactly the same. Truly, this could be a full class and not a five-minute drosh, um, Saturday morning drosh. So at some point, we want to have a fuller discussion both about what differentiates the different passages, what they have to teach us in different forms, what this says about transmission of text, from memory of text, all of that. Um, that would be wonderful. But for today, what I would like to focus on is what they share in common, right? What they all have in common. And as you look at this chart, there are a couple phrases that should stick out. One, it's clearly all of them. It is true in Exodus, they just have it in a different form. All of them are calling out to God. This is a human attempt to get God's attention. This is not God telling us. This is human beings calling to God. They all talk about erech which means slow to anger. Virav chesed, great, um, incredibly strong graciousness. Nose avon, which means forgiving of sin. Vafesha, which is forgiving of rebellion. And they all talk about v'nake, not the low n'nake part. V'nake, which is remembering those who are innocent. So we have a really serious image of what became the bottom line of what we human beings want God to be. We want God to take a long time before God is angry at us. We want God to be incredibly gracious. We might even say compassionate to us. And we want God to forgive us. No matter what you say about how we mess up, we want there to be forgiveness in that for us. In effect, we know we miss the mark all the time. We know that we need someone to be compassionate for us to learn from our mistakes. And we know that two of the greatest personality traits of being human is the ability to forgive and do tshuva, repent. And we can only hope that God had those skills because God is the one instilled them in us. We also know that all of these aspects are really not 
about God, but rather about us. We have to learn to reach anger slowly. We have to be compassionate about ourselves and others as we learn from our mistakes. And we need to be able to forgive and repent in order to become who we are meant to be. All easy prayers to say, and unfortunately too often lifelong lessons to learn. May we have the strength, the courage, and the wisdom to learn from what these three texts are trying to teach us. May we learn how to get to anger slowly. May we want, may we learn to be incredibly gracious and compassionate. And may we forgive ourselves and others when we miss the mark. Shabbat shalom, everybody.